I am reading from the NIV Study Bible, the Lord's Prayer, Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Hi. I'd like to start off this little video session with a very short quiz. Who said, dream big, pray big? Was it A, Mother Teresa, B, Nan Neal, or C, Dolly Parton? If you said C, Dolly Parton, then you'd be correct. If you said B, Nan Neal, then we'll give you half the credit because Pray Big sounds definitely like Nan Neal. And if you don't know Nan Neal, you need to get to know her. It'll be well worth your time. It's so wonderful to be addressing you women, you sisters in Christ right now. My name is Kathy Vogt, and I have been working with Sharon Thompson and Marla Corman on organizing an exciting upcoming small group study on prayer. David says in Psalm 141, 1 through 2, O Lord, I call to you. Come quickly to me. Hear my voice when I call to you. May my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. David is comparing his earnest and immediate prayer to the physical custom of offering incense to God. David knows that God desires our communication and admiration, adoration from the soul and heart more than physical offerings. Colossians 4.2 says, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Psalm 145.18 states, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Prayer is such an important part of a Christian life. Martin Luther once said, to be a Christian without prayer is no more possible than to be alive without breathing. God works in mysterious ways. A few months ago, my cousin from Colorado recommended a book entitled Prayer in Practice. She and the women in her congregation found the workbook to be a very practical and useful book for developing a stronger prayer life. So it took me a while, but I finally ordered the book a few weeks ago, and I opened it up and started reading, and I was very impressed. The day after I read the book, Sharon Thompson had organized a Zoom meeting for the three of us, for Sharon, Marla, and, and myself. And we were going to pray and discuss ideas for having a women's Sunday morning, or not Sunday morning anymore, but a, a women's Bible class and ways that, that we could get together. And I was so excited. I said, I said uh, hey, you guys, I have something very exciting to share with you in the Zoom meeting. And uh, first thing in the Zoom meeting, I started to tell them about the book. And before I even got to the title of the book, Sharon's eyes got big and she said, are you talking about prayer and practice? And my mouth fell open. And I said, uh, yes, how did you know? Well, unbeknownst to me, Cheryl King had talked to Sharon a short time before about the possibility of the women here studying prayer and practice. And it just so happens that Cheryl King is a friend of my cousin in Colorado. So after looking at the book together, the three of us decided that the study would be a perfect tool for our small group study. It's a workbook filled with many practical ways to help us pray more and better. 
So many of us are feeling isolated right now with this nasty pandemic. Our country today is hurting and there's a lot of anger. We need praying women. So let's use this study this summer to strengthen our bond with God and our Christian sisters. And we can do that by discussing the weekly assignments, talking together about our prayer experiences in small groups, and praying together. First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. The plan is for our small groups to start the week of June 14th. When you receive an email about the upcoming groups, please sign up for the group of your choice, and you do have several choices. There will be a Zoom study, backyard studies, and a small group that meets in the church building. But regardless of whether or not you join a group or you buy a book, we will be posting videos each week for anyone to view online or share with friends. So if you have any questions at all, please contact Sharon Thompson, Marla Corman, or Kathy Vogt. And I, I want to thank you right now for listening. We're all very excited about, about this. So let's pray big and get to know God and one another even better than before. Thanks. Hi guys, this is Brianna and I am so excited to be a part of this class this summer and to get to know some of you in small groups and I've decided to have this small group in our fire pit or our prayer pit and I'm definitely looking forward to sparking some new relationships and igniting the flame of sisterhood and prayer with you guys and definitely think about joining a small group. Thanks! Hello, my sweet sisters in Christ at Southwest. I have truly missed you all. I am super excited for the plans that have been in progress, and a big thank you to Sharon, to uh, Marla, to Kathy, who have been fervently praying to God to lead them, to speak to them clearly where He wants us to devote our time to serving Him, to pleasing Him, to loving Him. And I'm excited about the plans that, that we have for our group studies of, of studying the book Prayer and Practice. Um, uh, if you haven't signed up, plenty of time to sign up. Um, tell others about it. There may be others that haven't heard about it or that we might have missed, but please, the more that come, the more we can serve our Lord God Jesus. Hi, my name is Kathy Vogt. Brandy Haltem and I are going to be co-leading a group together at her house. Brandy and I don't know one another that well, and we're really looking forward to getting to know one another and our small group as well. We can get to know one another together. If the time and place works for you, we would love to have you in our group. And if it doesn't, please, please do sign up for a different small group. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks. I'm hosting a prayer meeting here at my house, 1135 County Road 5. We're going to enjoy some time together, pray, study the we're going to be getting and hopefully enjoy some horses and the outdoors. Hope to see you. Bye. Hi, I'm Jenny Gibbons and I'm hosting one of the ladies groups this summer. I hope that we can find fellowship and communion as we learn to grow closer to God through prayer. 
Hi, my name is Teresa Jensen, and whether you have a really busy schedule or whether you have health issues that just keep you at home, um, here I am on Zoom video, and I hope that you all will join me and we can come and get to know each other's hearts and pray together, and um, I'm just really looking forward uh, to getting to know you better and to growing closer to God with you. Hi, I'm Cindy Arterburn. I'll be one of the group leaders this summer for the women's prayer group class. We will be meeting at my house in our backyard, and I'm looking at Tuesday or Thursday evening. I live in Papillion, so I'm looking forward to seeing who uh, will join the group. See you soon. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Just excited about it. I encourage all of you to pray, to have that spirit speak to you and through you and get ready for a great time of fellowship and loving our Lord Jesus. And I would ask you that you pray with me as I pray to our Lord. Lord God, Jehovah Shalom, our God of peace. Your word said that as you came, you brought peace to this world, not as the world gives peace, but as you give it, Lord. We know that in this world there is trouble, but we can take heart, Lord, that you have overcome this world. Lord, I pray that you speak to the women in this church, to friends, and bring them to this study, Lord, so that we can learn what it is you want us to do, how you want us to work, where you want us to put our efforts to love you more, to learn more about you, and to show us how to pray, Lord. Your word is so powerful, and it says that if we believe, we will receive whatever we ask for in prayer. So, Lord, thank you. Thank you for the freedom and the confidence you've given us in your word. Thank you for those men and women that listened to you as you spoke to them and wrote it down and put it together in your book, your love story to us. Lord, all these things I pray in your son Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen.